What it do, Cosmic Crew? Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Without further ado, I got another video for you. So as you can see, this is on Rich Homie. Um, we're just gonna get into it, okay? <sighs> we're just gonna get into it. Now, energetically, I don't know, I feel kind of somber, of course, with the incidents that have occurred that's understandable but yeah I feel I feel really mellow really somber really um I guess you know just sad really sad now just from my own observations um Every time I saw Rich Homie Kwan, like, you know, just in a video or anything, to me, he already, I could definitely see that death was on him, okay? Like, he, he, oh, he looked like there was voodoo on him, if, if you know what I mean, like, if you <laughs> if you've seen it in real time and you know how it affects someone and you know he looks like he had some type of voodoo on him or he was doing it. Now I know a lot of a lot of those stars and celebrities in Atlanta they are um, initiated or just into different religious african traditional religions and things of that nature so i do believe besides the gang wars and the violence there's definitely spiritual warfare that's always being done okay but yeah he looked like he had death on him like to me it was it was creepy and i just couldn't watch him like Mm-mm. He looked... Mm-mm. He looked gray. He looked... Mm-mm. This energy is really heavy. Okay, let's see. What do we need to know here? What do we need to know? start with the four of the five. I feel like if they were to check the camera footage in his house, then there would be more information about what happened leading up to his transition. There's something about the footage. I can see somebody walking around in the house. Okay. Now... <laughs> You know, I don't want to point any fingers, but, you know, whoever may have been the last to see him or claim to be would definitely have information about what happened or what transpired. You know, that's obvious, okay? But it's what's le what led up to that that would be key as far as evidence. I do feel like, because I keep seeing this, I don't know what they're saying he overdosed on, but I do feel like there were much stronger drugs. This may have been something laced, okay? I keep getting, like, some type of meth or, um, like, even heroin, like, something very strong, very, um, potent. He may have been stuck with something. Like a needle. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so they're definitely, um, 
there's a crew. There's a group of people. I don't know if he was filming. Oh, shit. My bad. I don't know if he was filming some type of show. Some type of, um... Yeah, it's something about a film crew. Like a group of people that um, make content. For whatever reason, they are involved here. Also, emergency services. Okay. Yeah, the fact that that phone call was even released, that's very sketchy. Emergency services, the police, the ambulance, um, the first responders. All of these people, I feel like they were very selected as far as who was sent out to his location. All of this, it seems, um, oh, it's like a movie. Everything that occurred was a script. It was like a Tubi movie, so to speak. Like, everybody had a role, okay? Nobody there was by accident. This has a lot to do with him wanting to be single or saying that he was single. I do feel like um, now there's somebody here who's highly favored, okay? They're very divinely guided. A chosen one. The chosen one. That's somebody's name. Chosen one. Now, I see who I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know where she's from. I don't, I don't know, child. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> uh-uh. Okay. There, I don't know if he had another baby on the way. Because it feels like it. Okay, it feels like he may have had some children outside of whatever relationship he was claiming at the time and I want to say me personally I don't care I don't feel like anybody is wrong for um showing the relationship that they had with rich homie Kwan he wasn't married okay that's how I feel like he feels about it he wasn't married he was free to do whatever he wanted anybody can grieve in the way that they feel I don't feel like it's just a clout chase like these people have really um personal relationships with him and it's not their fault. <laughs> it's not their fault. Like, people can post their pictures and their videos and share their stories. Like, let, allow people to grieve. Like, he, he touched a lot of people's lives. Um, so, I don't feel no kind of way about these women. Okay, there's something about... Um, I'm definitely seeing Birdman, but I feel like there's somebody else... It might be Jay Prince, but there's some type of CEO. There's somebody who, whoever he was signed to, whatever major label distribution. So we're also talking about the Jews. Damn. I know you ain't supposed to say that. <laughs> See, Rich Obi, he, okay. Did you know what other people when I when I speak with other spirits like they're very like just blunt and honest they don't give a fuck he's he kind of he kind of knew he had to tiptoe kind of play the game he was very you know that on that leadership very diplomatic very um just wanting to to blend in wanting to find the balance wanting to um you know just play the game right without too much tarnish on his his morals so you know he he was politically correct right choosing to be politically correct and not trying to brush people the wrong way so i do feel like you know the um the powers that be in the industry the the people that really cut the check not the people that distribute them but the people that really fund these operations and these um labels okay for some reason he may have got on their bad side. Okay, there's definitely blood suckers. I feel like that's a literal thing as well. I do, I definitely get the sense of ritualistic. Um, I don't, I don't know what this guy doing. Danny DeVito. Or maybe that's somebody's name. Danny or DeVito. But it's like, um... 
these people are really vampires like they are really from other worlds they're really reptilians they really shapeshift they really eat babies they really suck blood they really like melanin <laughs> and like i said i feel like every time i saw rich homie kwan it looked like he was getting gray like he was like he was decomposing that's what i saw when i looked at him and it, it would creep me out what's going on here what do we need to know okay so yeah there's definitely people that he upset i got consequences here so I feel like he was, it was made clear. There's a choice that he made. He chose the side. He chose not to go through with something. And because of that, there were consequences that had to be distributed. It's, it's something like a ticking time bomb. So I definitely feel like he felt the clock running out. He felt the pressure. I definitely keep hearing big stunner, big stunner, stunner man. So it's like, it's like wanting to disconnect from the industry, but knowing that that's really where the big bucks were, okay, as far as um, lump sums of money. I feel like he fell off purposely for a very long time, just tried to clear his name, clean, clean his face. Is that how you say it? Clean his face? Like being hidden in plain sight, but then the bills started piling up, especially um, maintaining a certain lifestyle. And especially as it pertains to women, like you want to present yourself a certain way. You want to establish, <sighs> establish your name. Basically wanting to impress women made him get back in bed with these people because of the financial obligations that he had knowing the consequences knowing that he would be used as a pawn there's something here about a physical altercation it's kind of like fight club like you got to get jumped in also it's like choosing size of course with the um with the ysl and the the luchi which is crazy okay because Lil wayne is at the root of a lot of this dwayne carter is at the root of a lot of this okay there's something about um fights at breaking out at the club like not really being able to go out without fights breaking out because people wanting to choose sides but i do feel like he was definitely in that Cause it's like trying to be diplomatic, trying to stay out of it, but clearly having chosen a side. So it's like, no matter what you do, you look messy, right? What's that man name? DC Young Fly. He got something to do with this. I feel like all these, it's like piranhas. All these niggas are like piranhas.
We have bad and bougie. Okay, so this also got something to do with the Migos, but it definitely has to do with women. Okay. I feel like he felt this coming since takeoff passed away. He may have been given a heads up. I feel like they do try to deliberate things, give you an opportunity to either, I'm hearing cross over. Damn, that's that's symbolic as fuck. JP, again? So you can either cross over on the physical plane into whatever lane they want to put you in, or you can literally cross over if you choose not to, um, Sign your name on the dotted line. It's like feeling like his hands were tied. Like having obligations. Having financial um, responsibilities. Having, you know, just the image to maintain. Not really being able to find something where the money can move as fast and as quickly. And having to, just like feeling like his hand was forced to get back in the, to get back in the game. I'm here, you can't win, child. You can't get out of the game. This is deep. Because this has to do with, like, your straw man, okay? How you don't really own your name. Like, I feel like he may have been into that. As far as, um... ownership propar pro how do you say it propriety okay like learning about you know the different codes claiming different heritage i feel like he may have been, even been trying to um nick cannon got something to do with it he feels like they tried to nick cannon him because he knew too much This got to do with the whole wilding out. Like, all of that, all of these, everybody knows. That's what he's saying. Everybody knows. Like, there, there, there's no secrets once you're behind those doors. They know who's up next. They know who's supposed, like, liter literally, like, up next. <laughs> He's definitely smart. Like he talks in um in entendres. Like the things he say are like it, it can mean many different things, right? So we're talking about up next, like who's popping next, right? Or who's on the chopping block next. And I, I always say, if you won't make a sacrifice, then you will become one. Because you know too much, essentially. Now you're just a liability. Ooh, once you're no longer an asset, you become a liability. And your time starts to tick. JP, again. So they're either going to publicly humiliate you and shame you and get you canceled. I spice. Or they're literally... Especially, um, it, it, especially once you solidified your name and they can make money off of it. And then they get the people closest to you to turn and agree like, oh, you know, once this person passes, this will all be left to you. You'll have access to this. You'll get this. Your kids will be straight. You just need to play along. Yeah. Once people start to justify betrayal, you are not safe. Once the people closest to you, you know, the people that lay next to you, once they start to justify betraying you because of whatever, whatever actions have occurred or passed in your relationship and they say what's worth it to them, you're a goner. 
a lot of people be sleeping with the enemy. And unfortunately, when you deal with people that only associate with you based on what you have, they're always going to be open to the next biggest offer. Wow. I keep seeing so I feel like I don't know if there's like a dealer like a white drug dealer involved here okay but whoever that is they're a fucking cop you can't win child you can't get out of the game oh my god so it's like it's like the it's like the whiz like there's somebody behind the curtain but it's not who you think or they're not they're not who they're who they present themselves to be they wouldn't be anything without all the moving parts in front of them this shit is very symbolic we're not in kansas anymore Especially when it comes to Atlanta. I cannot stress this enough. It is all a facade. It's all an illusion. Like, most of the things... I don't even know. Are the buildings even real? Like, everything is just for show. Everything everything could potentially... My bad. There's mosquitoes out here. Everything could potentially just be you. It's all the prop. It's all props. It's all actors and actresses. Nobody. Nothing is real. I'm seeing... Um, Okay. Because I'm seeing two chains. He was always involved some way, somehow. These gatekeepers are always involved. Always involved. But, um... What was his name? Bankroll. Damn. Like all I can hear is poppy shit, poppy shit, poppy shit. Like, like they have been following that same fucking script since bankroll fresh. Okay, they set you up, they put you up, they get you big. They, they, um, you don't follow protocol. They strip it all away. You either get back in or you get taken out. But they hate to see a, a young nigga enterprise and innovate and move around. That's why they started the distribution. Because they just want a piece. Any way, shape, or form, they just want a piece. Because that's how they, um, that's how they keep going. They would be nothing without the, the talent. But they give the impression that you need them. It's just like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so you got people, they ain't got no courage, they ain't got no heart, right? They ain't got no brain. Like, you know, the 10 minute, like, <sighs> Rich Homie Kwan is definitely poetic as fuck. Like, his mind is beautiful. The way that he sees things, that he can paint pictures with his mind and with, you know, his words. But, like, he can't, like, he, it sounds so plain, but the shit is deep as fuck as far as how he expresses himself. But yeah, I got this Nikki Parker energy. So, there was some woman that was following him around, claiming him. I feel like he's kind of used to that. I don't want to just say one. It definitely wasn't just one. There are women, um, you know, that may have had relations with him or things of that nature. He was definitely 
sought after. <laughs> but to the point where it, it looks delusional, it looks obsessive because the energy isn't being returned, you know. Like Professor Ogilvy. In blood it's always oh my god because it's always a feminine energy mad and ready to set some shit up like it never fucking fails this also could have been um somebody from another camp a woman from another camp that was sent in on him to get revenge. I know people are saying Young Thug, but I keep feeling like this has more to do with Lucci. I feel like this has more to do, I don't know if he was supposed to be tied in with Lucci, but I feel like whatever transpired has to do more so with his um, associations with Lucci. But yeah, there's some. There's a woman saying I can love her better than she can. <sighs> there's somebody here that would do anything for their man. Kill, steal, destroy. Okay, we are back in blood. People in shiesty masks. Okay, I feel like. Him feeling like he didn't need security was a problem. Because he definitely did. People bringing sticks into the, cl into the club. Some of these young niggas, like they are, they got heavy artillery. I always say that. Okay, so that's kind of how they're running things. Yeah, the problem is these, I mean, we can't really say these niggas because, you know, I, I, would, I would say y'all niggas. The problem is y'all niggas mixing money and honey. Like, that blurs the lines. Especially when these, when these bitches be playing all sides and they're really just there to spy. Okay, we got candle magic being done. Something about um, government assistance. So there's something about a PPP. Niggas was eating off the PPP and once that slowed down, um, <laughs> you know, they got hungry again. Something about a blood bath. Something about sharks in the water. Blood in the water. something about he was feeling sick from the night before he had already felt ill from whatever he ate from the night before I don't know if they were on good terms and then he started feeling really sick and like I said I feel like whoever his dealer is there's a white man involved specifically who is affiliated with the police. This shit was definitely laced, but I feel like he was stuck with something. And the thing is, it don't matter how how big you are, if you're not trending. 
you're not getting top dollar. And that's one thing he had to come to terms with. It doesn't matter who you are, who you were. Um, at this point, you know, he, he unk, right? You can kind of aged out if you're not, if you're not still current on the charts. If you're not still, um, you can be a legend all day, but that has nothing to do with what you get paid out. That's a big deal because I feel like no matter what, he looks at this as a business. You know, definitely having a love for music, but def- like seeing it as a business, using it, you know, to build himself in the way that the checks were coming. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's why I feel like he was, like I said from the beginning, he was working with a group of young niggas, some type of um, videographers, content creators, some about skin bone. Maybe he was going to collaborate with skin bone on something. I feel like there was a song he was working on, something that he was trying to get trending just so he could get back out there. We got Evil Eye, yeah. A lot of people sending negative energy, wishing on his downfall, hoping that he would fail. But like I said, I feel like it comes from as high as you can go to as as low as possible. You know, whatever little hood baby he was fucking on, she mad up until the corporate. (laughs) You know, people that own the labels, they was mad. So what what was the last straw? Like what would be what led up to where we are now? What did it? This has something to do with childcare. So this definitely has to do with the baby mama. So I don't know if somebody felt like he wasn't a active parent. Or if he was made to feel guilty for wanting to, you know, go out and make money because he wasn't, he was told that he wasn't being an active parent. This definitely has something to do with with his parental involvement or lack thereof. And that was affecting with his mental health. Somebody was like gaslighting him, telling him he's not doing enough for his kids. And so... That's when he decided to get back involved with this facade. He cannot stress it enough how all this shit is an illusion. Especially the industries in Atlanta. Like I literally I literally keep seeing buildings with like like in the front of it it looks like a real building but behind it is like like a little stand <laughs> like all of it is like a movie scene like none of it is real it's like when they make those videos and they'll go into the jail like everything is a prop this has to do with Tyler Perry as well Tyler Perry Studios But it's also like magic. There's root work being done. I feel like he was just trying to do what what was best for his mental health. But having a lot of sexual urges. I do feel like he Rishomi Kwan was real mannish. But that's where he fucked up, mixing his money and his honey. Like, fucking people who didn't have the best intentions for him just wanted him for his money. But like I said, they see a bigger fish, they, you know, now you bait. Champion. What about Keisha Cole? Okay. 
So this this might have something to do with Hancho as well. I just feel like everybody knew. Like everybody knew. I don't know how surprised these people are acting, but for some reason everybody knew Rich Homie was next. Next up next. I don't know why it has to be said like that. He was up next. So there's definitely a like a list. Michael Jackson's energy is very strong. I got PYT. Rich Homie Quad had girls, 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 girls. I do adore. Something, something. How I at you when I get off tour? Type shit. Type shit. <laughs> Yeah, ho ho's, hoes, 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 hoes. That shit is dangerous. Cause like you don't know who sent the bitch in. That shit is not cool. But then the most fucked up part is it be the one closest to you. It be the one you think you can trust the most. That'll dog you out. <laughs> Cause they feel entitled to some shit. Oh, I done gave this nigga my life. I done, I done sat back and watched you fuck all these bitches. There's something about a warrant. Okay. So he may have had a warrant. Maybe like a bench warrant or something. Maybe he was supposed to come and testify. I also feel like. Okay. I don't know if he was supposed to defend. Cause I don't. For the life of me, I do not sense Young Thug around this shit. This has to do with Lu Chi. Lu Chi, okay? Whatever happened to Rich Homie Kwan is associated with Lu Chi. This shit ain't got nothing to do with Young Thug. I don't feel that. I don't sense that at all. I keep, I keep, I literally keep seeing Lu Chi in my head, in my, like. <sighs> so I don't know if he was supposed to speak up on his behalf and maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Even not not choosing a side is still making us a, a statement. Ooh, damn. That's deep as fuck. By not choosing a side, he still made a statement. His silence still spoke. His silence still made things happen. So he, you know, he thought he was being diplomatic, not choosing the side, not being involved. But by not speaking up, he still made a statement. It, like it still made things happen because he was supposed to be like a key a component into whatever. And I don't know if that's why Lucci's still sitting all this time. But no. I feel like. From what I'm sensing, this shit came from that direction. What he's saying is, what you're seeing, even with this court, all this shit, all this shit is scripted. I, t I told y'all when it first happened, everything that's happening with Young Thug is part of his Masonic degrees that he's obtaining. You have to go sit. All these rappers had to go sit. They all went through a trial like this. This is how you earn your degrees. Like, Literally. That has nothing to do with Rich Homie Kwan. There is something about perjury. Okay. <sighs> we gonna leave that right there, child. I feel like, um... He said a lot without having to say much. But I feel like that's kind of what he does. It's like, you really... You really just gotta listen. He cold with it. Like, you just gotta listen. He gonna make it real plain. If you don't pick up what he putting down, that's on you. But, alright, y'all. Whew. Okay. Until next time. <laughs>